Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Oh, dear God. It has been a while. Maruki is the villain. My life is on a goddamn timer. I don't really think the situation could get much worse than this. But, uh, our job now is to check up on our fucking teammates. Which is crazy, because I don't see Futaba here. But, I mean, where the fuck else would Futaba even be? No, like, for, uh, well, ooh, yeah. Like, this this can't be the same Futaba, right? Because, like, Futaba was only a shut-in because her mom got axed. So, maybe she's in a better place than she used to be? A Futaba without emotional damage? What? Is that even Futaba at that point? What is a Futaba without damage? I can't fathom such a thing. A Futaba without actual emotional damage is a Futaba I don't know if I'm happy to even live with. I don't even know if I can even accept that as a possibility, which is... I mean, I admit that's a little fucked up for me. <laughs> like, like, that's such a fucked up notion. What, is On around here? Is she here? Who, who's here? I guess it would be on, wouldn't it? Oh my god, you did it, Shiho! I knew you could! It's all thanks to you, Anne, for supporting me. Aw, oh, I'm not the one who deserves credit. You kept your best effort, now you're finally, re now you're finally recognized. Akira, I can't believe it, over here! Talk about coincidence, been a while since the last time you saw Shiho, right? Long time no see, Karusakun. Do you reckon you remember me? How have you been? Yeah. I've been well, thank you for asking. I'm surprised you remembered, though. We didn't even talk all that much since I transferred to another school so early in the semester. <laughs> of course he remembers you. He has to remember what with all the bragging I've told him about, about how amazing my BFF is at volleyball. Oh, Anne. Sorry, you have to put up with all that, Karusu. Um. Shio was MVP at the big meet the other day, too. Not only was she in the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anybody else. No wonder she's the star of the team. Jeez. You're too much. The two of them are beaming with joy. It seems this reality is the one that Anne wished for. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Shio's coming back to our school. Everyone in volleyball knows that Shujin's the top school when it comes to the sport. That's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back after more than a little begging. I was so sad when you transferred for her parents' job, but all is well that ends well. I feel like everything's just perfect now. Is this everything you wish for? Mm -hmm. What I wish for? Well, I guess you could say so. Do you prefer things this way? This way? I mean, both you and Shiho are here and everything's going great. It's definitely better than the alternative, like when we... Wait, huh? I... But... Something is... I remember being so cornered that I wanted to die, but then I met everyone and... I'll be waiting for you. Um... What does that... Oh, shit. Oh, that's fucked up. Why would you show me this? God, that was so long ago. Huh? What's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Just a little tired. Oh, why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Uh, sorry. sorry, Kira. I'll call you later. Bye. See you, Karusikan. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Mm. 
Anne seems happy to be with Shiho, who was able to continue playing volleyball. But is this truly how things should be? I should check on the others tomorrow. So, in case you haven't noticed, for the next handful of days, we're going to be going through, talking to our friends, and kind of just seeing what their lives are like now. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. Where would Butaba be? Would she even be in her room? Hey, you are, are you looking for someone? Haru? She was thinking about setting up shop in Kichioji. She went to inspect a new location with the president. She sure looked happy for doing a bunch of busy work. Sorry, but is that all you need? I kind of want to be alone. Would, like... Would Futaba even fucking... Like, part of me... Part of me cynical and feels like she wouldn't even be in her room because why would she be engaged in such behavior if her life isn't the trash heap it used to be? But it's also, like, she has hobbies. It's not like she doesn't have things she enjoys doing. Like, Futaba's just like anyone else. She has, she has things she likes. And who am I to judge you for having things you enjoy? God knows I have things I still enjoy. Honestly, with the way my mental health has been, I'm surprised I can enjoy much of anything these days. Go on and figure, man. Video games, dude. They bring in all kinds of fucking endorphins. Alright, I guess I'll head up here. You know, I actually spoiled myself and looked at the uh, daily thing, like the daily chart for what I'm going to have to do for this. And apparently... Oh, I guess it's Kichioji? Oh. Why are these all... Oh, might be because he can't account for it? That's weird. I don't, I don't get it. Like, I kind of get it, but I don't get it. Man, it is so crazy looking at these areas now in such a different light. Like, it wasn't that long ago that I spent all my time worried about making sure I had all the points so I could max everything out. But here the fuck we are with shit maxed out. Who would have thought? The amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our threshold. This would make a fine location for a new store. Yes. I agree. The research says this community is most interested in high quality ingredients and, mod and a modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus on more organic produce and a simple but elegant interior. My. Oh, Akira couldn't. I didn't expect to run into you here. What are you up to today? <laughs> I'm helping out my father today. We're here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, he's a wonderful friend to me. He's an underclassman at my school. Oh, to think you'd have a male friend, Haru. Are you truly just friends? Wait. Jeez, father, don't jump to conclusions like that. Calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, for such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away, alright? <laughs> oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? Haru and her father are enjoying each other's company. It seems Haru's... This, it seems this is the, har the reality Haru wished for. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she'd pick the reality where her dad didn't die on fucking television, Akira. Fucking jackass. What, what, what are you... What kind of nonsense? Yeah, I'm pretty sure anybody would pick the reality where their dad didn't die on national fucking television because their brain fucking melted. <laughs> it's been quite some time since I last saw a horror like this. You must be a truly wonderful friend for her. Please keep being as good to her as you have been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Father. Oh. 
Would you care to do something together, Kira? We have a bit of free time, so we could grab a cup of coffee or something. How's business? I'm not so sure. I don't know all the details. I'm just helping out my father. He's been busy, but the staff have been holding up their own end. Uh, they're out scouting new business locations, too. All in all, I'd like to think things are going quite well. Had your dream come true? My dream? Oh no, I wouldn't call my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately that I can barely handle what's on my plate, so... Um... Wait, I just... I know you'll get through this. Hmm. Oh, okay. What happiness can be found through profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse me? What? That just now. That was... Haru, what's the matter? Ah, nothing, father. Nothing really. You must be getting exhausted after all this surveying. Why don't we take a break somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we'll have a chance to speak more in the future. Until next time. Seems all I can do is wait. Guess I should go home. Would she be happy? Bitch, please! Her dad isn't dead. Like, that's such a ridiculous thing. Would you join the Phantom Thieves? Wait, what? Would you join the fa- what? what? Why would the Phantom Thieves even exist if the world is perfect? If everyone has what they want, why would you even need the Phantom Thieves? Haru seemed happy being able to talk to her father without fear, but is this truly how things should be? I should check on the other members tomorrow. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. Alright, so that An and Haru already did Morgana, so that's cool. What do you know? Do you know anything? Hey, you have a minute? Ah, going to the school to check up on Ryuji, apparently. Really? Why can't I just... But why do I have to do it this way? Why can't I just use the normal shit I usually do to go places? Yeah, but, like, I'm not even close to where I need to fucking be. God damn it, game. Why are you making me go... This was, like, the worst part of the start. Dude, I had friends who started Persona 5 and quit the game because they had to deal with the subway system at the start of the game and they thought that was entirely anti-player. Personally, I think that's a mild overreaction, but I, no, I, I can't relate. I'm sorry, I don't think I can. Uh, Chome? Yeah. All right, time to go talk to good old, time to go talk to my boyfriend. Oh shit, we may not be dating anymore. Fuck, that's not cool. Whoa, whoa, you mean you got scouted by that college? Whoa. Pipe down, stupid. It's not for sure or nothing yet. Anyways, I'm just saying the school's gotten word. I'm just saying the school's gotten word of something like that. Still, that rules. You even made it onto the podium at Nationals, too. I was worried about what would happen after you screwed up your knee, but I'm glad to see you were able to bounce back. No way, man. Ah, uh, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying my best so I don't get laughed off the team by you guys. Yeah. Gotta be honest. 
Ryuji's like one of the few people I don't really think this is as big of a deal to him as they're gonna make me think. Because Ryuji could have gone back on the team. Like, Haru can't get her dad back. An can't change what happened to Shiho. You know what I mean? Futaba can't change the fact that her mom is dead, right? All these things can't be changed. Ryuji made his peace. He could be back on the team if he really wanted to. He chooses not to because he thinks that part of his life has passed him. I don't really feel like this is applicable for him because I feel like that at, by the end of his confidant, he kind of got the closure he wanted on this part of his life. Kira, what are you doing here? It's still winter break. Oh, maybe he stopped by to congratulate you too? Man, someone sure is popular. Is there anywhere you want to go after practice? It's our treat today. Ooh, that's nice, you guys. How about an extra large beef bowl and some pork miso soup? Hey, why don't you come with us, Akira? Enjoying returning to track? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's fun, but what do you mean? It's just what I like doing, you know? I get all down when I'm not running. So your leg's fine now. Hey. My leg? Oh, you're worried about me? It's totally fine, dude. No problems there since I injury a while back. And that was actually Kamoshida's fault. So, wait. What? Ain't something wrong here? How do we know each other anyhow? We first met in front of the station by school, then... Keep thinking, man. Keep on thinking. Huh? Uh, sure. It's now or never. Here it goes! Whoa. What the hell was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened? You guys, what happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. See ya. See ya. I gotta get back to practice. Wait, does he not... Wait, would he not have known me in this reality? Obviously he does. Huh, that's weird. I don't know, I just don't buy the fact that Ryuji's secret thing is pining to be back on the track team. He made his peace with that shit. Work, I have the day off today. I can't be feeling sick when I get a promotion. I don't remember having fancy clothes like this. It's like they're, it's like they're for a night job. Huh? You're not an employee here. Come on, I know you were working here last night. Let's take it easy instead of going crazy. Trying to hit our quota, huh? You're going to work? I thought you quit. Ryuji seems sincerely happy about being able to run with his fellow track team. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. I wonder who's next. What the fuck would Makoto be doing? She's always so prim and proper. Hey, you have a minute? Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're slowly remembering that you're a fucking cat. Which is crazy, because you spent, like, the entirety of the game bitching and moaning about how you're a human. Turns out, you're not even really a cat. You're not. You're not a cat. Like, you're not You're not a cat, dude. Do you, like, you're not a cat. Like, I don't know why we're having this conversation with you. You're not a cat. Honestly, that that that, that should have been the argument every character makes towards Morgana at this point. Every time. Fucking, I, if I, if I were the Phantom Thieves, every time Morgana claims that he's human, I would simply say cats don't, t I would simply say humans don't become cats and cats don't talk. You're a fucking abomination unto God, which is darkly fucked up, but <laughs> actually really funny. <laughs> you're an abomination, you're an abomination unto the Lord. <laughs> 
I can see Yusuke in the distance. He seems to be viewing a painting. What should I do? Speak to him, fucking obviously. What a coincidence. Ah, you came too, Akira. I was just thinking of contacting you. Take a look. My mother's painting is finally receiving the public attention that it deserves. It's on display for this week only. I'm so glad to, that we have this chance to view it together. <laughs> I am truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this painting here. My drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to painting such an impactful work. Nothing in the world could make me happier than I am at this moment. Whose patronage was that? Indeed. Well, of course. Well, my sensei, of course, Madarame. Excuse me? Even after Mother passed, Sensei never stopped advocating her work to the public. Not only that, he took me in and cared for me when I lost my one and only family. I truly cannot thank him enough. Yusuke is so happy. It seems this is the reality he wished for. Ah, I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for a dinner? Sensei's been interested in meeting you. Don't don't worry. He'll even pay for the meal. Is Madarame a good Sensei? Yes. Yes, I'd say so. What's this about? So out of the blue. The Sayuri looks great. The Sayuri? That's not the painting's name. No, wait. That seems... Something is not right. I have faith in you, dude. You'll figure it out. What is... Could I be making the same mistakes as I did before? To think this painting was the source of Madarame's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother won't know of what won't know of what transpired. Akira, I My apologies. Actually I'm sorry. But I'd like to be alone for now. I don't know, man, like how how good can your so-called illusion of a better of a better of a better present possibly be if all it takes is for a jackass kid who has broken out of the supposed matrix to fucking break the illusion Yusuke seemed happy about his mother's work Sayuri being recognized as a work of art but is this truly how things should be I should check on the others tomorrow we got two left, and then I'll end the episode, because next time it is a forced bullshit thing I'm going to have to go through. <laughs> Which is crazy, because... Actually, that is kind of crazy now that I think about it, right? Because, like, this is not the same. Like, we're not really dealing with, like, time limits or whatever, right? Like, unlike all the other palace infiltrations, we're, like... Some fucked up shit was gonna happen to us if we didn't finish. Hey, you have a minute? Akakiabara, of course. Of course she'd be an Akiabara. Why are the... Of course, of course. Like, okay, but like. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't see Futaba. I just don't see Futaba being a no lifer. If her mom's alive. Right? Because the impotence of her being a no-lifer happened because her mom died. If her mom's here, wouldn't she not be a no-lifer? Right? Like, am I wrong? Like, maybe. Like, I admit it. I don't know. I just, I don't buy it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a believer. You're not selling me on the ridiculousness of this entire situation. Alright, where's the video game store? Because that's the only pl <laughs> Of course they're at the fucking video game store. Why wouldn't they be? I don't blame you. Shit, I'm thir I'm 35. I still go to the video game store. Oh, man. Oh, there, Futab. I thought you just came here to buy a video game. But, but, can you feel it? All the limited editions and gaming gear. It's the store's fault for being a one-stop shopping. 
So, mom? No, ma'am. Do you th do you think I get supplemental grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Motion for additional funding denied. Uh -huh. Ugh, my case was dismissed. Huh? Akira? Hey, what's up, nerds? Oh, hey, look who stumbled upon us. Come on, hurry up and pick something already. You still want to get lunch after this, right? We can take him too now. Oh, what a thoughtful gentleman. Hear that Futabo Shodra is going to treat us to lunch. Hey, don't go putting words in my mouth. Really? You eat that all the time, though. Yeah, because it's the best. You really can't get enough curry, can you? I mean, she does have a point. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the glowing review. Sound good? Akira, I know you know how awesome Sojuro's curry is. Ah, oh, it goes great with this coffee. Yeah, Sojuro made it for exactly that reason, and Mom helped to improve its flavor, too. Mm. Huh? Something's not... You have to move on. Well, yeah, after I've grown a bunch... Wait, what did you mean by that? You can figure this out, I'm sure. Huh? I still don't get it. Come on, why don't you just tell me? I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. <gasps> what was that? Are you alright? You two are getting a bit weird. Could this be a case of raging hormones? Look how serious they both have gotten. I'm okay. Uh, it's nothing. Let's go, Mom. The curry can wait. Akira's still got stuff to do, I assume. We'll see ya. Hey, Futaba, don't just take off like that. Uh, well, we're gonna head back. Come by if you come by for some grub when you're done with whatever it is you're doing. Seems all I can do now is wait. All that leaves us with now is Makoto. What would her thing even fucking be? Oh, her dad. Her fucking dad. Yeah, it's her dad. No, would it be her dad, though? Because, like, she didn't really, like, no, nothing about her. Like, her dad barely even came up in her confidant. But then again, her confidant wasn't even about her. So, who knows? I Maybe it was her confidant. Maybe, maybe it is her dad. It's either her dad or her sister. I assume her dad because that's the only bit of trauma she seems to have outside of like having a perfectionist complex which doesn't even seem like a Makoto thing that just seems like an Eastern Japanese thing at this point. This no this notion of be this notion of like wannabe superiority Ah, Shibuya. Got it. Fantastic. I don't have to take fucking stupid ass routes to get where I want to go. Shibuya. This is Shibuya. But why are you making, like, why, why can't I just use the quick travel thing? Like, what purpose does it serve to not let me use the quick travel thing? Let me use the quick tra- Oh, they're right here. Fantastic. Sup, ladies? Ah. Ah, Kira, what a coincidence. We're just doing a bit of shopping. But soon we're going to celebrate our dad receiving the Superintendent General Award. Your dad is? Come on, Makoto. You don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember dad telling you earlier to just act like it's no big deal? Sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm just so filled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. What groceries do we need to pick up before we head home? I wonder what dad would like me to cook. I made eggplant miso soup for your birthday. You had fried mackerel on yours, right? I can still remember how you pestered dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey! Sis, 
I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. I mean, yeah. I, I assumed it would be their dad. That reminds me. I came to see you. Me? Is something the matter? Enjoying the family, Tom? Mm -hmm. Well, of course. Has your dad been supportive? My dad? Of course. He's done such a great job as a single parent and... No, but... Wait, something's wrong. Mom died, so Dad raised us alone. And sis... You are so close. I promise you'll get there. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Uh... I just... Makoto, what's wrong? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Sorry, Akira. We have more shopping to do. I'll see you later. Yeah, because, like, a lot of these... A lot of these things don't gel together, right? Like, would we have even met as a group if it wasn't for the trauma? Probably fucking not. At least I don't think so. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what's fucked up is like I'm like, damn, somebody's getting back to me soon, and then this dude's like, it's me. <laughs> oh man, yo, I'm gonna say it. I could see why people ship. I see why people enjoy the gay ship with these characters, man. Cause like, that that is like some truly gay shit. <laughs> Doesn't even identify him though. He just says it's me. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week, so I thought I'd share my findings with you. By all means. First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? He told me himself. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. As you know, those plans never came to fruition as funding was cut off and his research was ended for him. So his research was stalled. It's of his research into cognitive science. Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Marugi's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Marugi's put us in. It seems that Takumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. What do you mean? They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact... Their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. Oh, so we're not in, like, an illusion then. This shit's real. Oh, uh, okay. What about the Phantom Thieves? They seem to have been causing a stir in society, just like in our original reality. But Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. Basically. In this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. <laughs> what do you make of it? Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. And I refuse to live like that. 
I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Don't worry about it. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Odaiba with Akechi. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. Tomorrow we meet with Maruki. I should go to bed early tonight.